So our first Shutter original of the year, Destroy All Neighbors, is here. And when I saw Alex uh, Winter was involved after his movie in the 90s called Freak, I was very excited about it. It also has uh, Jonah from Mystery Science Theater 3000, the new iteration on Netflix. So this is about a prog rock musician who is trying to create an album and has a new neighbor who is very disruptive and distracting. Yes. Uh, he goes to confront this neighbor about the noise, and things don't go so well, uh, and it spirals out of control from there. This is a very zany, goofy movie that, if you're not into by about 10 to 15 minutes in, shit, even five minutes in, but I would at least try to give it 10, 15 minutes to see if it starts to, you start to Thanks. warm yeah. up to it. Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of humor, but I would say at that point, it's not going to change. The movie is absolutely absurd and over the top the entire time. No characters are ever going to act, you know, somewhat believably, right? Everyone is is dialed to eleven. Mm -hmm. um, all the characters are meant to be parodies of something, and I personally had a blast with this i i laughed a good amount i really bought into the zany world um i like where it went mm -hmm. i really liked um how everything played out and i know kaylee has some things that i'll mirror as well yeah i also really liked it um for me the thing that i liked the most was the practical effects yeah i felt like that was really cool and yeah. very well used and there's a variety of them too, which I always like to see. Like when there's like a lot of different looking yeah. creatures or, you know, whatever. Yeah. So they did a great job with that. And yeah, I, I think it's a fun movie. I had a good time with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're looking for a real zany horror comedy um, and you did like something like Freak, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, yeah, I think this one is, is going to be a crowd pleaser for this type of crowd mm -hmm. but man this movie will turn a lot of people off they will watch this and they will be like this is so dumb so it just has to be your brand of humor yeah right and and there's people out there in the horror community they just do not want any comedy in their horror and it's like well then this is definitely, definitely not, not for, for you, you. <laughs> um but yeah as you said there's some good effects going on in here uh, I think the prosthetic makeup and whatnot that Alex Winter wears mm -hmm. uh, as the neighbor is, you know, does it look real? No. Right. It looks like an Austin Powers character, yeah. you know, but it's, it's still cool. Yeah, it's memorable. Very, yeah. Very memorable. Um, he talks like Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. That's, that's like the character he's doing. Uh, I kept thinking it the whole time. He, every time he spoke, um, <laughs> And there's some really funny interactions with a homeless guy. There's really funny interactions around the apartment. There's a bunch of, there's a wacky cast of characters throughout. There's some funny stuff at his, um, you know, his job. Mm. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and so his uh, job is really funny. Yeah, I, I just mm -hmm. dug it. I, I had a, I was always entertained. Um, mm -hmm. I was laughing pretty consistently. You know, just having a good time, and that's all I expected from this movie. This movie definitely paid off from what I expected. It, it didn't exceed my expectations. Yeah. It just met them, which is yeah, fine. Definitely. That's so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, it's a recommendation. Absolutely. Sure. If like you're into that. wacky you're, horror yeah, comedies. Weird horror comedies. Yeah. With super zany, over the top characters. Mm -hmm. Um, and very like goofy, self-aware comedy. Mm -hmm. And I also think musicians yes, yes, will find this movie earlier. more appealing yeah. and, and yeah, get yeah. the references and jokes yeah. more. Yeah, if you're like a musician who, well, I guess this probably is most musicians, but like that is working on your own stuff and has been, you know, like I think that if you're the creative type, you'll definitely vibe with it. Yeah, you know and this I mean? guy's like the very definition of like the prog snob. Yeah, it does have that like kind of hipster feel to it too, but in a very 
self-aware yeah tongue-in-cheek playful which is really cool yeah um so yeah that's mm-hmm. that's that I, I i had a blast i had a really good time with it and um you know i'd watch it again in the future mm-hmm. not something i'm gonna run to but yeah i'd throw it on again yeah. so this is a win for shutter for me um we watched 100 percent of their originals last year I'm sure we will watch 100% of them this year. Yes. They're off to a de- they're off to a good start. Yeah. Yeah. So let's keep it up because last year had a lot of bombs. A lot of stinkers. Yeah, but there were some really good ones. Yes. We had like four or five out of the like 20. Mm. So it's like a 25% margin. I'd have to look up the numbers to be sure, mm-hmm. but I felt like it was a good amount. It was a long stretch. Yeah, I do too. But like, you know, Influencer, Brooklyn 45, mm-hmm. obviously When Evil Lurks is my yeah, favorite film a, of last year. a good amount, or a good handful at least. They had my favorite film of last year. Yeah, so if that happens again, then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's huge. That is huge. Yeah. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. So there you go. Oh yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. Hers as well. There you go. All right. Let us know if you watch it uh, and uh, see in the comments. Bye, Bye guys.